up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So you guys, in today's video, I wanted to do something different and bring like a little bit more college videos to my channel because I am in college and I just feel like y'all gotta see the real deal things that I do. So we're going to be doing a cooking in a college dorm with me today video. And I was just like, if you didn't check out my old, not my old video, if you haven't checked out my last video, make sure you go check that out. I just filmed like my first day of school, what I do and things like that. So we just gonna get into like the college feel of things so you guys can see like some real behind the scenes of a college student y'all. And I am a senior in college so I know a little bit about it. And we just gonna get into the video y'all. It is currently 10.38 at night. And I chose to start cooking because it's Sunday and I just need a good little meal in my belly. So this is what I have to do. I don't cook like directly in my room because I don't like the smell of it. When I used to cook in my room last year, I'm a senior y'all. When I cooked in my room last year, the smell would stay in my room for like literally, I don't know, a week. Like the smell stayed in there. So what I do now is we have a suite outside of our actual rooms where it's like a couch, um, a desk and things like that. I'm just gonna cook in that area so that my room don't gotta smell like food for the rest of the week so that's what we're gonna do um if you don't see my video and my face and parts of the video it's just because like the angle i want to show y'all the food and not just me all the time so it might flip flop between being on the food then being on me then being on the food so that's just a disclaimer before you start this video but before we get into it make sure you like comment and subscribe Hit the subscribe button right now. I'm going to say it every video because your girl, we about to be lit. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell on the side to get notified whenever I do a video. So, period. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, so for starters, I already placed the potatoes and corn. Wait. For starters, y'all, we will be cooking steak, potatoes, and corn today. I already placed the potatoes and corn into the pot and made sure that it start boiling a bit. And then I also already seasoned my steak and I let it sit for a little bit while I got in the shower and got prepared to put on my night clothes. So we about to open this bad boy up. Y'all this steak is a bit big so I don't even know if it's gonna fit on the plate but it will. Boom. It got this little piece left but I'll keep it right there. Is it just me? I'm the only one that like really seasoned my steak like it's chicken. Okay y'all we took the steak out and we cleaned it. So now that the steak has been sitting there seasoning for literally probably over an hour, we're going to start cooking the meal. The corn and the potatoes should already be a bit soft. So we just going to start cooking. Okay, y'all. So I have moved out to the little sweet area and I'm going to take this butter, y'all. It's so funny. Like when you're in college, you really have to do stuff that you would never see yourself doing. Like, I bought a little electric stove. I be using my friend's air fryer all the time. Like, you just find little different ways to actually, like, eat good because messing around and eating at the school is not it. If you watched my last vlog, you know, y'all, I went to the lunch 
I went to the cafeteria and there was no more food left. Like, college is crazy, so you gotta learn stuff. But I'm just taking this non-stick oil, place it in the pan. I'm gonna put a stick of butter in there. And we gonna let that melt. And then once we let it melt, we gonna put the steak on there, y'all. It literally been sitting here marinating for the longest. Y'all hear that sizzle? So now we about to put the steak on there. Hold on. Why am I excited? Relax. So now y'all finna take it. I'm just gonna place it in there like so. Just gonna place some more butter around the sides to make sure that the outsides of the steak get crispy. Like that. The corn is literally done. It takes no time for corn. And then the potatoes, y'all, I can literally put my fork through it. So, oh shit. 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 Say hi. <laughs> what are you? Some steak? Right. Yes, what up, bitch? Oh my god. Say hey, red red. Bro, I just tried to hold the potato on accident and burnt my head. But y'all, once it get, you know, cooked on one side, I'm gonna turn it over and cook it on the other side. Okay, y'all, so the steak literally has been cooking for a second, and I see that it's starting to like soak up the butter underneath the bottom. So I believe it's time to turn it and it should have like a crispy black but not burnt. And it just should look delicious on the other side. So that's what we're about to do right now. I'm back. Like just be excited over food that's not even done yet is ridiculous. But I'm going to show y'all so y'all can know your girl be knowing what she talking about because I do this. Uh, this was like... It's a full meal for sure, but like most of this stuff is very, 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 very simple to cook. I feel like the difference though, when I cook in my dorm and when I cook at home, at home I have like crispy edges and it's like way more hotter. This like skillet that I have, it's a great skillet, but it don't get, it's not the same. Like once it gets to a certain level of hotness, it literally turns off by itself. So it's going to be good, but it's not going to be as crispy as I want it. I want the outsides to be more crispy instead of like the insides. I like the insides a little bit juicy. I hope y'all liking the video so far. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Love y'all. Okay y'all, so now we're about to start making our plate and I'm going to start with the potatoes. I'm going to get one of the potatoes out, not both of them. As you see, it's steaming. And what I like to do is literally take the potato. These aren't the long ones though, but they'll do. And just cut it down the middle. Like so. And you'll see that it's very soft and mushy. This shit hot. I'm gonna put it like that. That don't even look that presentable. I'm kinda sad. I didn't want it to look like not presentable, but we're going to put the butter on first, of course. I'm going to show you how to make a good potato. You put the butter on first, then you're going to take, take your salt and pepper because you want the salt and pepper to be on the potato to where you can taste it, not on top of everything else. So we're going to do the pepper first. Then the salt. 
so that it's very tasty and tasteful. Then we're gonna go with some cheese. And put the cheese on top of the butter and the salt and pepper. Then our lovely bacon bits, which I just want a little bit, so not too much. Just that much. And then last but not least, the sour cream. I love sour cream too, so we do a good little droplet. So there's that. Now it's time to do our corn. And with the corn, I'm about to just grab it out. It'd be hot too, but with my corn, it's really the same thing. You take the butter, you place it all over. I ain't gonna lie. Black people eat unhealthy as hell, because it's a lot of like butter. But this is what makes it taste good. Butter, same thing, pepper. Just roll it. And then my salt. And now y'all, to be honest, the steak should be done. Yeah, the steak is given right now. I just put this. Y'all, look at the steak. Yes, ma'am. So, we're going to just go ahead and turn it off because I too believe that the steak is done. And I'm really going to pick it up. Look at this steak thing. Okay, y'all. So, this is literally it. I don't want to hold it any more weirder because I don't want it to fall. But that's literally it for today's video. It was simple. I cooked in the dorm. You just got to get you a little bit of appliances and like pots and pans, a little thing. And you can cook just as if you were at home. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. Bye.